It's a lot of firepower. If you've ever wondered what those big booms were coming from Aberdeen Proving Ground, this should give you a pretty good idea. 11 News with an opportunity. Very few civilians get an up-close look at an ICVD or Infantry Combat Vehicle Dragoon. My team watches watches the news and that brings home to, the, to them what, what they need to do because we don't know when we're going to have to fight tonight. Colonel Glenn Dean oversees the Striker Battle Group. He tells us thanks to escalating tensions in Georgia with Russia, 83 ICVDs have been ordered to be sent to Germany. Their main purpose is to get soldiers to combat safely. It provides them a protected mobility uh, that allows them to get to a point of advantage uh, without being exposed to artillery and, and direct fire and other threats so that they can then dismount, move to the ground, and maneuver quickly. And the demonstrations didn't stop there. Here's a Crows J missile system firing from an infantry carrier vehicle. Pretty impressive. Colonel Glenn says the Striker Battle Group is ready to be deployed wherever it is needed around the world. The Pacific Command on the West Coast uh, has had strikers uh, supporting operations in places like Thailand and the Philippines and Korea. And so we are, they are worldwide deployable. And the Army tells us that some of these vehicles are ready to be deployed right now, while others could take a year, maybe two, before they're actually deployed. At the Aberdeen Test Center on Aberdeen Proving Ground South, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.